1975, working with engineers at Steim, a music foundation in Amsterdam, Dutch composer Michel Weisfitch developed the Crackle Box, a portable, affordable electronic instrument quite unlike anything else that was on the market at the time. <laughs> The Cracklebox works by actually connecting the electronic circuit that makes sound to your skin. And essentially, you as a performer, as a biological entity, become part of the circuit. Now, the Cracklebox was recently reissued by Stein, and you can order one uh, if you have euros sufficient off of the Stein website. But there is an alternative. With a little ingenuity, you can transform any portable radio, it has to run with batteries, into a pseudo crackle box. And in the process, um, familiarize yourself with the whole notion of playing circuitry by the laying of hands. So find yourself a radio that won't be missed if it is uh, irreparably damaged. But do make sure it works to begin with. Then what you need to do is open it up so that you can expose the circuit board because you need to be able to touch it as you did the crackle box. So find all those little screws that need to be undone before you can open up the case. And if you get frustrated partway through, remember, they very often hide screws under the batteries. Yes, they do, right here. Up oh, or under the antenna. We're going to put the batteries back in because we do need to have the circuit working. And we're going to very carefully put it over on its side. Now you will notice that uh, the wires that hold together these types of inexpensive circuits are very fine. They tear quite easily. I'm going to disconnect the antenna since that's not going to be too important for us now so that we can open this up. It makes sense, it's, it, it, it's a good idea to make a little note about which wire goes where, so that if they tear partway through the process, you can reconnect them. Now, here you see the speaker, the circuit board, the battery compartment. We need to lift the circuit board off so that we can touch the active part of it, where the traces interconnect the actual components. So we find where the screws are and we lift this out like this. Now, we turn it on and we lick our fingers. If you have difficulty finding spots on the circuit board that uh, produce these effects, uh, don't panic. It takes time. Um, it's like trying to get 
your first sound out of, say, a reed instrument, or dare we say it, learning how to ride a bicycle. Once you find the spots, you rock into a sort of a feedback loop, and it seems like you'll never forget again. But encountering it at the beginning can be a little, a little difficult. Um, sometimes it helps if you rotate the circuit board, because you tend to get your fingers on it in different positions. If you take off the knobs, it sometimes helps, because very often the knobs cover areas of the circuit board that are active. And finally, your fingers do need to be damp to do this exercise. Saliva is great, though um, if you're concerned about the lead on the circuit board or the cleanliness of your fingers, a finger bowl, perhaps rose water, is a good idea. The other thing is I found it usually takes two hands to get a sound out of this instrument. All right. Once you have figured out how to get noise out of this. The question is, how do you turn this into something that you can safely carry from one spot to another? All these dangly wires are a problem. This is neatly encased in a box such that the ac active circuits are hidden underneath a hinged panel. And all we have here are relatively rugged uh, traces that we touch. So, you can just fold the whole thing back up to carry to wherever you're going to be performing and then open it up again. But time will take a toll on these wires. So one suggestion I have is to get yourself a cigar box. You don't have to smoke the cigar. You just simply have to befriend someone who does or uh, a shop that sells them. Uh, this one was chosen because it is, uh, bears the name of the great American composer, Pauline Oliveros. Inside here, we have the speaker, and we have the circuit board, and we have the batteries, and a few other things. Um, but what we have managed to do is put this into a relatively solid housing. I can still turn it on, and I can play it. And uh, sometimes uh, taking a speaker-powered circuit, a, sp a speaker, what am I trying to say? Taking an instrument that uses a loudspeaker out of a plastic case and mounting the mechanism in a wooden case actually causes a transformation in the sound quality. Imagine, say, the difference between a plastic violin and a wood violin, that the um, box that the speaker goes in actually does affect the sound somewhat. One of the reasons that the crackle box sounds so lovely is the um, uh, box designed for shipping dried fish that is used to hold the circuit.